you must understand everything you're living for is going to be gone. Do you have a car that your grandparents drove? You were like, they didn't have a car. A horse perhaps? <laughs> is their house still standing? Most of us here do not even have our great grandparents picture. All of their possessions, all of their clothes, everything they worked for every morning till evening is nowhere to be found. This is only 50 years later. We're not talking about 200 years. 40 years later and everything you work for, your empire, you become maybe a billionaire, a millionaire. Maybe your name is going to be on the news and everywhere. You're gone and it's gone. That is why we don't want to use the church to build our kingdom. We want to use our lives to build His kingdom. Which was here before we were here and will be here when we're going to be gone. And the Bible says everything that can be shaken will be shaken so that the things that cannot be shaken will remain and that which will remain it's not your name it's going to be God's kingdom and that is why when you look at maybe a lot of times young Christians and you see them pouring their life witnessing evangelists like guys guys you guys don't have a life we do we want to live for something Christ died for if you're a Christian you call yourself a Christian it's a status you vote on your Facebook. Do you live for what Jesus died for? Or do you live for something that 40 years later we won't even find a cloth, a piece of garbage that belonged to you? Nothing. No car, no house. Everything's going to be gone. What a waste of life. Now we have to be responsible, we have to go to school, we have to drive nice cars, we have to live in nice houses so we can host more people for home group. Amen. We have to have a nice car so we can drive people. We have to have all of these things are good but they're not the most important. The most important is that what Jesus died for. Our houses, even marriage and I know the young people you're so busy with school, you're probably very busy with the dating life right now, you're very busy with this and that but I want to tell you something. Please calm down and make your priority that which Jesus made his priority to come on this earth for.